This is tiring. Today is kind of a busy day. I want to get some stuff done. I got to work on the back patio. Also, this little guy is a handful. But first, let's make some coffee and then some breakfast. Leftover vegan noodles it is. I haven't even tried them yet, but. I can't tell if this shit is old. My sense of smell sucks. It's even worse because of allergies because of this little guy. Let's hope I don't get sick. It's only a week old. It can't be that bad, right? That looks to be way more than 45 grams. What the hell? Yo, that can't be 45 grams, dude. <laughs> oh well. My boy, what you sniffing around for, huh? What you trying to get, mubbish? I feel bad for the guy. He has a bunch of nicknames. And why can't I position this taller? Buddy. Hey, no, no, no. Give me. Hey, where the hell did you get that? He has a paper towel. From what? Agitation. I feel agitated myself. Where did that paper towel come from, bud? Hey, oh my god. How'd you get this? A broken hairbrush. We like to call this ice cube therapy. All right, I'm hungry. Let's hope I don't get sick. Hey, no. <laughs> oh. It's just a you camera. You camera? Oh, you see my face now, buddy. You see my face now. You're scared of the camera, huh? Come here. Blink? Yeah. Oh, mm. Slowing down, bud. Your old age. <laughs> old age of almost three weeks. <laughs> three weeks, dang. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, the yeah. other day he tumbled back. He he got air and then he went. There's a time where he tumbled and then I don't know if he got embarrassed, but he stopped playing after that. <laughs> I don't know if he got embarrassed, but you didn't play after that. Oh, as soon as you fell, you were kind of dunzo. He totally did get embarrassed. You got a little dunzo bunzo. Little shadow. Come here. Oh, ooh, good buddy, good buddy. All right, you can't see my face, but you can kind of see his. I'm pretty sure we settled on the name. And I'm pretty sure it's gonna be Tater Tot. Look at Tater Tot. <laughs> Why does he want to play with her and not me? Come on, bud. Here, here. Good boy. I would have loved to have named him Megatron, but that wasn't the case. Um, they like the food names. Tater Tot is still very cute though. Stay, stay, stay. Never mind. Come here, babe. All right, so right now we're back at the apartment. Clean up the back patio. I did a pretty decent job compared to what it used to be, but now we gotta do more. That's dangerous. Pretty much cleared out a decent amount of this back patio. Got a lot rid of a lot of the um, foxtails that are laying around. Very dangerous for dogs. We don't want them to snip those up. So I want to make sure that I got them nice and cleared out. And the reason why I let this back patio kind of get a little crazy, I was using this area as a nice little workout area, as you can tell with the workout bench and the workout bike. But now with the gyms open back up, I haven't been to the gym and I kind of let this back patio go crazy. So felt like it was time to clean it up. I'm gonna redo all of it pretty much, but for Three hours of work, three bags of garbage, and a little bit of foxtails gone. For the most part, they're pretty shifted away. But man, my allergies are killing me, so all things considered, not too bad. We're making some progress. 
Uh, all right, so I pretty much have this area cleared out, foxtails. One bag there, a whole bunch of bags there, and a whole lot left to go. I'm allergic to do uh, dust and pollen, and but pretty much done. Um, I think it's time to fill it up with some tan bark. Not enough. I don't think this is enough. I hope it is. I don't think it is. Two cubic feet of mulch. This patio is a little bit more than that, so. Obviously, you still got to do a lot more. You know, obviously it's kind of sparse, duh. But I think a couple more bags will do. I don't think I needed to get another full six, but find another full, eh, maybe four to six. Time to go to the store. Yum. Ooh. Let's finish this thing. Eight bags of mulch later. Copious amounts of bearing whatever so. And we are damn near done building out the patio or redoing the patio. So that this little boy can do his thing in the back patio. Here, can bark in my shoe. On occasion, you're going to have to wash this thing out, but that's the name of the game. Name of the game. At least we have one. You know, at least we have the back patio to use, whether it be for, well, we hardly ever use it for our gatherings, hence why it's kind of fucky the way it is, but moving forward, obviously, now. Just getting back to pretty much, getting back to making this, this little corner of life feel normal. New normal, at least. Always more to be done. And the funny part about all this, this entire project is that I'm not much of a gardener. I mean, clear fucking Lee. This was definitely something new to take on for the very first time, which is perfectly fine. I have no problem with that. But the one thing I really want to focus on with this kind of project was letting it be known that the line between someone who says they get something done and versus someone who actually goes out and gets it done is just a little bit of hard work, some dedication, and just that uh, that discipline. You know, the discipline to just sit there and do one tedious task over and over and over again for however long it takes to get the job done. I mean, a lot of people don't want to put the work in to get shit done. It's kind of the name of the game for my entire career. I just hit the ground running as soon as I got into the world of barbering. So, something like this, I mean, nothing, you know? Especially when the payout is so huge for, for the family. So in the world that we're in right now with a whole lot of talkers and not a lot of doers, be a doer. We do be doing that. Doing. And playing. That was her. That was her. Oh, oh buddy. You do be doing that, though. <laughs> you look so cute. You can do it, babes. Oh, I missed it.
Maybe I gotta put another fence around this area. 